When they first told me I had a tumor in my knee, I was dumbfounded. I was in disbelief. I received a call from the orthopedic surgeon's office and, and was, was just told that I needed to come up and see some x-rays about Sean. Seventh grade basketball season, boom. You know, all of a sudden, just out of nowhere. He, you know, he's, he's a 12-year-old kid. And, uh, and just getting going, you know, just made the basketball team and tried all his life was, was you know, it was his dream. Hadn't even played his first game. When I first met Sean, he and his family had come to see me uh, because his doctors found that he had a bone tumor. From the x-rays, we could tell it was very serious. Here's the tumor. It goes from almost to the knee joint down to the uh, middle part of the tibia or leg bone. Cancer's a big word. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the word that, that I think can shake anybody. You have been diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma. And that's the type of cancer, it's in the bone, it's right below your kneecap, and um, more than likely we're going to have to do surgery to you to get it out. That was the start of that whole relationship with Children's Miracle Network, and from there they just kind of took Sean under the wing and took us under the wing. Sean, his family, and I talked about all the different options for what kind of surgery we could do. We could do an amputation, we could do a rotationplasty, or we could do some other kind of limb salvage surgery. When we talked about the rotation plasty and the ability for him to return to most of his activities, he thought that was a great idea. The surgery involves first getting rid of the cancer, and we do that by taking out the knee joint itself. And then you take the remaining lower leg with the ankle and attach it to the thigh or upper leg, but turn it around 180 degrees backwards where the ankle then works as a knee joint. And you end up with a shortened leg with an ankle joint working as a knee joint. You can then attach a prosthesis to it and they can walk with a functioning knee joint. And your foot and everything's still there but it's facing the wrong direction and we looked at it and just went, that's the strangest dang thing we've ever seen before. He had no problem with his foot being backwards and he thought it would be fantastic. His parents had a little different outlook. You know, that's a weird looking thing and I'm not really sure, Sean, are you sure? And, and you know, we kind of went, you know, he is only 13, maybe we ought to, you know, overrule this one. He then went into more detail about it, introduced me to someone over the phone, and I saw a video, and, and things looked more appealing as far as athleticism goes and, and stability and stuff like that. He said, Dad, I, I, wanna, I wanna play softball like you do. I wanna, I wanna hit the golf ball. I wanna have the same kind of, I wanna be able to run around with my buddies like you do. And, and that rotation plasty gives me the best opportunity to, to do those things. So with his parents' blessings, Sean was admitted into Children's Hospital, where Dr. Scarborough and a team of medical professionals performed this innovative and miraculous surgery. After six, we got an update, six hours, we got an update, and, uh, and the operation was done, I think, in eight and a half hours, something like that, and uh, the doctor walked out and said, successful. Now I had to learn how to walk all over again, using the foot, you know, moving it by my own will, with this uh, four pound, five pound prosthetic leg, but which weighed you know, so much on this foot that was so weak and unstable. Did a number of you know, strengthening things for the foot and the, the, the muscles in the leg, like the calf area, which was now you know, where my thigh would be. And I uh, had to learn how to use the hip all over again with, in conjunction with the foot to move the leg. I can still play basketball now, I play golf with my dad as often as we both can get out. I walk almost without a limp now. With the rotation plasty, Sean is able to return to pretty much a normal lifestyle. He does all kinds of sports with skateboarding and basketball, and it, it is really not a disability for him at all. Sean has overcome something that, that I gotta be honest with, I don't know if I could have done it anywhere near like he did it. He fought it with, with, a, with a spirit, he, he fought it with dignity. I am enormously proud to, to say, this is my son, Sean. Sean is a perfect example of how important a great attitude is. He is, has the greatest outlook of life of anyone I've seen. He's been fantastic. Every night, I'm in my room playing guitar, sitting at my computer, trying to learn new songs, and trying to write my own songs. Guitar's my life. I sit on the porch, I stay in life, 
Whispering words in our own ways Stick your hair just as the warm wind blows Have a great time in life, that's what it's all about. That's my future.